City Morning Show. Attention. Good morning and welcome. Welcome to this morning's edition of the Sugar City Morning Show. Uh, just to quickly recap, it's exactly one minute after 7 o'clock. Good morning. And today is Friday, the 24th of February. It's Friday. A lot of people must be jumping up and saying, today, and después de las cinco, after five o'clock, a gone clear. It's two days of rest until Monday. If you've worked hard enough, you merit it. You do it. If you work hard, you need to play hard, so they say. Quizás hoy por la mañana estás haciendo ya los huevitos y estás haciendo algo. Te saludo hoy por la mañana. Muy buenos días, donde sea que te encuentres. Eh, estamos transmitiendo en vivo desde Canal 10 aquí en Trial Farms. Y nuestra señal se ve por todo el distrito de Orange Rock. Si es que tienes un televisor pequeño que tu vecino, tu abuelita te heredó, le sacas las, las puntitas esas, lo que vas a ver es Canal 10. El único canal que se ve por aire. Y si tienes cable, nos ven por todo el país de Belice. Desde Corozal hasta Toledo, desde San Pedro, Benque, Belopan, San Ignacio. Bueno, por todo el país del mundo. Eh, perdón, por todo. Otra vez el mismo error que aquel día. Estoy extendiendo eh, por todas las partes del país, de este precioso país de, de nosotros. Compañeros, muy buenos días, muy buenos días. Como siempre, estamos eh, agradecidos sobre, muchas veces, aunque nos esté, estemos todos chuecos y estemos todos adoloridos, sobre todo hay que darle gracias a este Señor, a este poder superior que nos da la vida, nos da todo. Y que a, mucha, a quien le tenemos muchas, muchas, muchas preguntas, pero al que también no le debemos hacer ninguna pregunta, porque todo eso es un trayecto para tratar de definir, definir nuestra fe. Bueno, al final del día, yo quiero decir, yo reconozco que hay un poder superior que me da la vida, que me da todo, que me cuida, que me perdona, y a él yo le digo gracias Padre por todas tus bendiciones. Gracias porque hoy tengo vida, tengo salud, tengo fuerzas para venir a chambear. Gracias Padre por lo que le das a mis familiares, la vida, la salud, salud fuerzas, a mis compañeros de trabajo, a mis amistades, a todos, Padre, a todos que nos escuchan hoy. Gracias. Te pido que continúes dándonos esas bendiciones, Padre, que hoy para empezar a ser dignos, sin embargo, de todas esas bendiciones que nos das, nosotros nos demos cuenta y que tratemos de ser un poco de, a poco, en, en agradecimiento a todo esto, que empecemos a escuchar y a, y a hacer lo que tú nos pides, Padre. Y no nos pides mucho, simplemente nos pides... Eh, mantener tus leyes y amarte y adorarte. Padre, permítenos hoy tener la fortaleza para continuar adelante, no obstante lo que la otra gente nos diga, de seguir tus leyes y adorarte siempre, reconociendo de que tú eres nuestro Creador y nuestro Dios. Te pido como siempre, Padre, para aquellas personas que están pasando por tiempos difíciles, enfermos, enfermas en los hospitales, en las calles, en sus casas, donde sea, pero que estén pasando por tiempos difíciles, económicamente, espiritualmente, eh, físicamente, dolidos, todo, ayúdalos, Padre. Aquellas personas que recién han perdido un familiar, un compañero, una compañera, una amistad del alma, ayúdalos, Padre. Confórtalos y consuélalos. Por todos nosotros, Padre, que tengamos un bonito día, reconociendo de que tú nos das todo esto y que... Hoy podamos utilizar todas esas bendiciones que tú nos das para el beneficio de la humanidad. Gracias, Padre. Te adoramos, te bendecimos siempre. Amén. If you heard me, I, I, estoy bastante congestionado de la nariz. Es cambio de, 
de, de tiempo, de clima eh, y por lo general me encanta dormir con las ventanas abiertas, que aunque haya frío, el bendito abanico en un lado y no porque necesito el viento, sino porque estoy acostumbrado al ruido, tonterías. Y, uh, y al final del día, um, nunca hacia mí el abanico, sin embargo, pero eh, los cambios drásticos en temperaturas producen estas alergias que ya luego de un par de días pues se van todo. Ojalá y así sea el caso. Good morning. If you've just joined us, this is Friday. Today is Friday, 24th of February. If you're, if you're celebrating a birthday, all the best to you. This is the public weather forecast for today. Um, and this report generated at 6 o'clock indicates the general situation as follows. Fair and dry conditions prevail our, over our area. For the following 24 hours, mostly sunny skies today, partly cloudy tonight with little or no rainfall. I think it's going to be more like no rainfall. The winds blowing from the east, southeast at 5 to 50 knots. The sea state light up, um, famous words, and there are no advisories in, in place. The outlook for Saturday and Saturday is for similar weather conditions to, to prevail. The temperatures, the highs along the coast, 86 inland guys, All this, 94 degrees Fahrenheit. It's going to be warm, hot. And up in the hills, 82 degrees. The lows for tonight along the coast, 75. Inland, 64. And up in the hills, 60 degrees Fahrenheit. The tides, there's a high tide this morning at 9.16. There is a low tide at 2.35 this afternoon. Then that's followed by a high tide at 8.47 tonight, followed by another low tide at 19 minutes before 4 o'clock tomorrow morning. The sun rose this morning at 14 minutes after 6. The sun sets today at 2 minutes before 6. The moon sets this afternoon at 24 minutes after 4. And the moon rises tomorrow at 27 minutes after 5. We want to thank Forecaster Gentle and Young for this information. And all those are the persons who... <coughs> I'm sorry, who um, contributed to this report and who have made it possible for, for um, the, the National Meteorology Center to produce this report and to send it out to people like us who in turn share it with you people. Muy buenos días compañeros, un gran gusto saludarles de nuevo. Son exactamente las 7 con 9 minutos. Um, este es el reporte del tiempo para hoy. Viernes 24 de febrero, si estás cumpliendo años, muchas felicidades. Si estás eh, eh, celebrando aniversario, te deseo todo lo mejor. O si la razón que tengas para tener una fiesta, que la pases bien. Este reporte generado a las 6 de la mañana indica que la situación general de tal forma, hoy vamos a tener buen tiempo, tiempo seco, y tiempo caluroso. Y eso es lo que va a predominar sobre nuestra área. Para las siguientes 24 horas, cielos so soleado, completamente soleado. Parcialmente nublado hoy por la noche con poca o nada de lluvia. Más creo que va a ser nada de lluvia. Los vientos del este-sudeste de 5 a 15 nudos, el sol del mar ligeramente agitado. Y no hay advertencias en lugar. Se espera que para mañana sábado y sábado por la noche tengamos condiciones similares. No va a haber gran cambio en lo que vamos a estar viendo. Las temperaturas, las altas para el día de hoy por la costa, 86. En el interior del país, compañeros, 94 grados. Va a quedar súper caliente hoy. Y um, por las colinas, 82 grados. Las bajas por la costa, 75. Eso es por la noche. En el interior 64 y por las colinas 60 grados. Ahora, imagínate que por, durante el curso del día llegas hasta 94, 95 grados de calor y luego entonces tan de repente por la noche baja 64, una, gran, una diferencia de 30 grados. 
eso empieza a explicar la razón por qué la gente tiene tantos resfriados, porque las, las, uh, las grandes diferencias en la temperatura, pues el cuerpo reacciona a estas grandes diferencias. Um, no es de siempre que vemos que es 64 por la noche y 94 por el día. No es de siempre. La, por las colinas, las bajas, 60 grados. Las mareas, una marea alta a las 9.16 por la mañana, una marea baja a las 2.35 por la tarde, otra marea alta a las 8.47 por la noche y otra marea baja a las 3.41 mañana por la mañana, mañana sábado. Eh, el sol salió hoy, compañeros, a las 6.14 minutos. El sol se oculta a las 5.58 por la tarde. La luna de igual forma se oculta a las 4.24 hoy por la tarde, compañeros, y sale de nuevo a las 5, <coughs> perdón, a las 5 con 27 minutos mañana sábado. Le damos las gracias a Forecasters Gentle y Young por esta información y también reconociendo los esfuerzos de nuestros patrocinadores. Uh, Vegas Imports, el honorable Gaspar Vega, German Vegan Sons, Albion's Transportation y uh, obviamente esta estación de televisión, North Television. Quisiera rápidamente, uh, porque me estarán eh, haciendo preguntas ahí, diciéndome, bueno, y esto va a continuar. Resulta que ya para sábado, Ah, porque hoy es viernes también, tengo que darles un adelantado para sábado domingo. Eh, para sábado, ¿se dieron cuenta cómo hoy los vientos están del este, sudeste? Va, el sábado cambia de nuevo y eso explica por qué tenemos la, vamos a tener hoy la temperatura tan alta. Porque en anticipación a un sistema de baja presión, pues por lo general hay calor intenso, ¿ok? Hasta que entonces pase el sistema de baja presión, entonces entra el sistema de alta presión y nos, y nos tiene en, uh, en frito por un par de días. Bueno, hoy los vientos, mañana, perdón, los vientos son de este y luego están de repente noreste. Y... Uh, Sí, va a estar bastante caliente el sábado, 95 grados, igualmente caliente, pero las, las bajas otra vez, 64. El domingo del este, uh, no tan caliente el domingo. Eh, el lunes, de nuevo, eh, la, el viento, los vientos del este, sudeste, y el martes también este, sudeste. Y uh, va a estar bastante caloroso, entre 90 y 95 grados, así que no se, no se escapa. Ya es tiempo de empezar a reparar ese cayuquito, es tiempo de empezar a reparar ese barbecue grill y empezar a hacer planes para ir a la playa. Eso es, eso es, porque eh, típicamente esto es el tiempo cuando uno, uno va, aparte del hecho de que pues hay razones para ir. Porque al final del día, con tanto calor, uno quiere meterse al agua y, y, y refrescarse. Compañeros, cuando son las 7 con 15 minutos, vamos a tomar una pausa, pero estaremos de vuelta con ustedes tan pronto estos anuncios. No se vayan. Attention, Belizean suppliers. Find out what products are in demand in CARICOM, a region with great potential. Take advantage of this exciting export opportunity to expand your sales within CARICOM. Log on to belizeinvest.org.bz slash export Belize to learn more. Brought to you by Beltrade and the Ministry of Economic Development, Petroleum Investment, Trade and Commerce. Let's get ready to rumble! Get serious. 
get bopped. La Semana Santa se acerca, no tiene dinero, Leche Dano te pone dinero en tu mano con su gran, gran, grandísima rifa 2017. Leche Dano busca ganadores, tú puedes ser uno de ellos, ven, únete hoy a la gran rifa. Habrá premios fabulosos y fáciles de ganar con Leche Dano, premios de 250, 500 y hasta 1000 dólares. También 6 premios de consuelo, compra hoy tu Leche Dano y participa. Encuentra Lecho Dano en tu supermercado favorito en todo Belice e instantáneamente recibirás un boleto para entrar a la gran rifa de Semana Santa de Leche Dano. El sorteo se llevará a cabo en vivo a través del canal BBN Belize Broadcasting Network el domingo de Ramos, el 9 de abril de 2017. Leche Dano, distribuida por Sin Anthony Trading Company, teléfono 224-4514. Leche Dano, cremosa, instantánea, saludable, lo mejor para ti. Everyone needs a getaway. Why not do it in your own country? Sun, fun, and relaxation are just a short distance away. a taste of barefoot living or enjoy the sounds and taste of an authentic Garifuna village. Allow yourself to be swept away by southern hospitality and living. Escape the hectic world and enjoy a beautiful sunset. where you can discover how to be a Belizean traveler. Tienes ocho cilindros. Eres adrenalina disfrazada de aleación de aluminio a 8,000 revoluciones por minuto. Así como así. ¿Será el cigüeñal? Una limpieza de inyectores, un cambio de aceite. Vas a correr con libertad, campeón. Los que entendemos al motor como si tuviera voz, hablamos máquina. Roche Franz, poniendo el mundo a funcionar. Ahora distribuido por German Vega Anson. Búsquelo en tu tienda favorita. Hey guys, look, Jerry's live. Party's lit inside rehab. Let's go, let's go. Traveling. While it may leave you speechless, it does turn you into a storyteller. Belize is always the star of my story. That's definitely a way to feel the rush. With Digicel 4G LTE data plans, I get more data for less. With the cheapest prices for 4G LTE, my followers don't need to miss a thing. Digicel 4G LTE data plans are affordable and perfect for me. Plans to suit everyone. You feel me? This is what I live. Sarah Cabanas Wholesale Used Clothing Limited, the North's largest importer and distributor of high quality clothing, both new and used at the best prices. Bales are available in regular and premium, located at 26 Asuncion Street. Also, don't forget to check out our top quality furniture, such as dining sets, living room sets, sofas, recliners, chest of drawers nightstands, bar stools, bedroom sets in king, queen and double sizes, mattresses, bicycles, thermal and casual shoes, tennis shoes, new power tools, kitchen wares, body care supplies, detergents, purses, toys and the full line of baby products which include cribs, proms, playpens, tubs and clothing. Sarah Cabanas Wholesale Used Clothing Limited, located at mile 53 on the Belize Carousel Road. Telephone numbers are 322-2971 or 322-2972. Sarah Cabanas Wholesale Used Clothing Limited, for the best in high quality clothing and top quality furniture. 
The Banquitos House of Culture invites all to the grand presentation of Juan Carnaval on February 26th at the Queen Elizabeth Park at 4.30 p.m. Come and learn about the culture of Juan Carnaval with compasses such as La Cinta, La Culebra, Las Pelonas and El Torito to name a few that will be presented by the San Jose Palmar Group, Kitch Panshan, Masewal, Yo Creek and the Belize High School of Agriculture. A dummy of Juan Carnaval will Will be created which will be burned as part of the tradition bring out the entire family on february 26th at the queen elizabeth park the banquitas house of culture invites you all being like the rest was never an option after investing 40 million we now bring to you the most advanced network in central america and the caribbean our mission has always been to not only be the best in belize but the leader in the region being good enough is not enough we want to be the best Introducing Digicel's new 4G LTE Advanced Network, the fastest data network in Belize, the only network of its kind in Central America and the Caribbean. On this new network, Digifines know they get the best data speed, the best call quality, and the best texting experience. Take our word for it, or try us again for the first time. Pleasure to have my partner here, Mr. Dylan uh, Jones. Thank you very much. With us. Good thank morning. You, you. ¿Cómo estás? Uh, pues aquí muy bien. Uh, debo de decir gracias a Dios que estoy aquí esta mañana. Uh -huh. Y que estás saludable este, y fuerte. Que uh -huh. estoy saludable y, y uh, hay unos gentes que fue a dormir anoche <laughs> y se levantó muerto. Y se levantaron muertos. Uh, sí. Podemos decir diferente que nosotros estamos aquí. Mm. Y, y muchas y me, veces y me la gente me pregunta, bien. bueno, ¿qué onda con Dilon que está diciendo que se levantaron muertos? <risa> ese okay. es ese español creo yo. No, es que <risa> mucha gente, eh, en, en su afán de tratar de explicar esas palabras, que simplemente no hay, no hay, no, tienes que, no hay ciencia en las palabras, simplemente eh, Dilon te está diciendo que, pues, se murieron, ¿no? Se murieron. Pero... Eh, se levantaron muertos que algunos de nosotros andamos caminando en la calle, pero fácilmente tenemos, eh, fácilmente pudiéramos estar muertos. Vamos a dejarlo ahí. Correcto. ¿Es cierto? Y, y correcto. Y eh, por eso ves que venimos aquí cada mañana, uh -huh. hacemos una oración, una oración para sí. dar gracias al Señor para tenernos aquí. Exactamente. Y oramos para... Lo demás, para todos, para todos. Eh, la oración que Emmanuel hace no es para ninguna religión, es para todos. Es universal, tanto por eso universal. es que no me escuchas, no me escuchas y voy a hablar la neta, no me vas a escuchar que, que, que Espíritu Santo, que Virgen María, vamos a tratar de evitar eso, porque no solo es para católicos, sino es universal la oración. Ahora, ahora quiero, um, quiero decir a ustedes que a veces cuando comenzamos el programa, uh, parece que es un programa de iglesia, con tanta oración y hablando de Dios. Pero para mí es bueno hablar un poquito de Dios en no, cualquier hora del día. Cualquier hora del día. Mientras no estamos siendo hipócrito. Uh -huh. ¿no? Por eso I want to share this little story with you that, that I think it's my sister who sent it to me. Uh -huh. Face, de uh -huh. Whats. Uh -huh. A veces nosotros hace WhatsAppear. Okay. Y los donglodeas. Y los donglodeas en uh -huh. WhatsAppear. Dice, I think most of you might hear, you might hear, two donkeys were walking in Jerusalem. 
right. When one donkey said to the other, just yesterday I was carrying Jesus, and the people were singing and shouting and throwing down their clothes for me to walk on. And today, they don't even recognize me, the other donkey replied. That's how it is, my friend. Without Jesus, you are nothing. That's why I say I must put God first in your life, in everything you do. And the second message is that uh, people as fickle as the Roman mob. Mm -hmm. One minute, then they, yeah, yeah, yeah. The next minute, then they, no, 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 no. The next minute, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. The next minute, then they, no, no. Why well, that's a serious thing, you know? Watch out. Yeah. Watch out. That's a serious thing. I, I don't know. I think when you go, when you go work with people on a level there, that you are working with them, you're helping them, you're there for them, and deep down inside your heart, you know that you can't have that confidence in them. Uh -huh. But you stay there. This is some dance. <laughs> so other people may say, ah, to go to hell. Uh -huh. I don't know, but you stay. Yes. But why you stay? Because you have a special gift. You, 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 because you, you know you know what to expect from them. So when the time comes for them to be there for you, you just hope that that man when the coin flip on your side. Because today the coin flip on heads, tomorrow they flip on tears. You understand where they come from? So you hope that when you, when you need them, they are there for you. But you hope could also get shattered. But you understand that when you needed them, they weren't there for you, and you know, you know, surprise you because you know who you to deal with. Mm -hmm. But because of the person you are, the the, hum the, the, the humble person you are, you, you accept their behavior pattern, and you hold nothing against them, and you, you have no regrets for what you do for them. Life is full of surprises. Some of us don't begin to understand the reason um, why certain things happen in their lives and they're attributed to either to bad luck or to the devil or to when he don't give me that okay man has to suffer the consequences of his very own actions mm -hmm. very very simple mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. but in typical human style because we don't like to accept our mistakes. Our mistakes. Because of we our try to blame it on somebody else, and if, and if they learn the wrong the area, you blame the learn. But because many times a lot of us are by ourselves, and these things happen, we try to blame somebody else, and typically we blame the devil. Because as if you were a person, you know, accept your wrong because <coughs> of your advanced state of stupidity, what I call pride. We have the the the, the we have the. The, what is called through the conscience, we can do right and we can do wrong. Yeah. And we do that consciously. That and not true. try blame anybody because uh, te fue mal con esto, te fue mal con otro. Cuando tú empiezas a empezar una relación en uno, tu acción y la reacción que, que pasaste, y entonces tratas tú de no explicarlo al principio, pero de entender y simplemente aceptarlo y decir uno, Es a raíz del otro, eh, mea, mea culpa, mea culpa, eh, yo soy, no lo voy a hacer en el, en el, en el, en el, como se llama, en el futuro. Entonces eso ya es crecimiento. Make you a better person. Eso ya es crecimiento. Pero si tratas de apuntar el dedo a todos alrededor de ti, y en ausencia de personas tratas de culpar a otra cosa que no está, entonces te falta crecer. Right, ¿No es? right, 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 right. Um, you know, another thing they would accept in your, your faults. Believe me, make you a better person. I was watching the fresh news last night on the, on the internet mm -hmm. where some kids, a bunch of African American and Latino kids, are coming home from school. Mm -hmm. It happened, and I think it's big on the news right now. And they kind of walked on the lawn of an off duty police officer. Mm -hmm. The grass, you know, kids are about 15 kids coming home, you know, they're walking. Uh, and this officer <coughs> came out and <coughs> Sorry. started going off <coughs> with them and he insulted uh, one of the little girls. Mm -hmm. Get your C, mm -hmm. your C off my grass. Okay. I don't know if I, I think I could say the word because the word is cunt. Right, so he insulted the little girl. So one of the thirteen-year-old boys said, "He said, 
man, what's up with you? you disrespect the girl. You got some manners, man. You know, you're a big man. Mm-hmm. You know? You expect more of him. Yes. And the officer, because he's an off duty cop, you know, grab the little boy. The little boy say, man, you can't grab me up like I'm going to sue you. Oh, you're going to shoot me? Oh, if it's hard. That's what he say he here. He by the time no I say I want to sue you and he not let go the lead while. Grab her, scratch her neck and he hold her. Apparently then he have some old man, they call the police to come arrest the little boy. You know, the crowd, they get agitated. Like, come on, man, leave him alone. You know, he's just a 13-year-old kid. Uh-huh. And the lead boy, they harass him for let him go. Uh-huh. Kind of knock him the movement, you uh-huh. know. And the lead boy tell him, man, because... You know, you don't want to let me go. I don't do you nothing. You, you disrespect the girl, and I come and I tell you, it's just wrong what you did. And big argument till when two of the other bigger boys kind of push him, you know, trying to get the little 13 year old away from him. The officer took out his gun and fired a shot. You see, Pickney run. Pickney run. You know? And still don't let go of the lead boy. So finally, the police came and Released the kid from him. He put up his hand mm-hmm. and must explain that he was uh, uh, mm-hmm. off duty cop. And he arrested the little boy and took him to a corner, stuck to him, and that was the end of it for for the video. No, but but it show you how he didn't want to accept that he was wrong by insulting the little girl. You know, but because you know. No, the only thing that caused big problem because he's a white man, a white American. And, 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 the, and the injustice committed to the young boy because exactly. he was in defense of the young girl, he becomes the victim. Exactly. You understand me? Exactly. He becomes the victim and, and, is, is, uh, and is held down and mistreated by this, by this officer who, who, who misunderstands him and misconstrues his words well, or whatever he wants to say. You know, instead of saying, I will sue you, then he believes it. When the man bust the shot, he said, pick me, run. And alone kids the man. So I I never see no need for the gun. You know, I, I never see no need for the gun. And he took it out and pow! He said, pick me, run. Oh, my God. And then broke away. But when that, they come right back again with the camera. You are checking it out eventually because you know how the internet yes. goes. But it is it is not nice. And then sometimes I wonder where the hell mm-hmm. people eat in America. Even that pepper, you mean or what? Even that pepper, you know, bad. Uh-huh. I think a pepper mix it something else because then they get crazy, then they drink crazy <laughs> pills. <laughs> you know. Um, but but um, it's a problem that happens everywhere, and uh, and it's if we would learn to be more accepting of our faults, I think that it would be, be a, a better much place, better world. That's true. Because myself, I want to okay. tell you when, whenever I do wrong, and I, I don't want to sit down and like what I see it though. Mm. <laughs> uh, eventually, I could accept I do wrong, but sometimes you just don't want to accept. And and at the core of the problem is our ego. Mm-hmm. We don't want to look bad. Mm-hmm. We don't want to look bad in front of others. We won't, don't want to act, do that. That thing called accept that we did wrong. This is there for be the bigger person. Bad, you have to be the bigger but they don't person. understand that that at the end of the day, for you to experience any growth, you need to go through that acceptance process, and you need obvious that then automatically that's going to catapult you into something way much bigger, because to accept that the case is the error. You accept the case is the error. Okay. Y eso es un, un paso fuerte. Si tuviéramos todos la capacidad de aceptar nuestros errores, fuera un mundo mucho, mucho mejor. ¿No crees tú? Yeah. And I also want to take this opportunity um, to, to say, can big up to um, the Freedom Baptist Church. We will be going to Louisiana Government School and IT Vet to give out Bibles. Some of the school accept, but not all. And you ask the children who has a Bible. Few will, few will hands up, hand go up in the air, and see me, because every I think everyone should know about God or Lord and Savior. That is true. And, and if whosoever is behind a project like this, I want to say, well, mm-hmm. nice, keep it up. I'd like to congratulate at this moment the Muffles High School. 
And whoever it was, it is that is behind that initiative, I also want to congratulate St. Catherine's Academy. Let me let me just uh -huh. touch up on this before we go into that. That was yes. an excellent. Please, I know what, um, that's a very important thing we're going to bring up right now. Mm -hmm. But this is from the U.S. Connect. He said, those kids, there's another side to the story. Mm -hmm. Huh? This, the story that I mentioned a uh -huh. while ago. He said there's another side to the story. He said those kids, those kids have been doing that and vandalizing property in that neighborhood for a while now. But I don't condone the gun the police pull on, on the kids. Okay. Like they say, there's your side. Um, the Ministry of Agriculture no got no, cor no communication with you as to when your potatoes are going to come online to be sold. And then the Ministry of Agriculture in error, in error, yes, brings um, gives out permits to to people to bring in potato. Or you got potato like that in your yard, eh? in your farm, or the contraband comes in. At the end of the day, the man has error potatoes. because One of communication. Yes, hundred thousand pounds of potato. Right, Where can he? So much money, or two hundred thousand pounds of potato, so it costs seventy thousand dollars to produce. What happened is that now, yeah. this man, mm. huh? go ahead, go ahead. This man has so much potato. This is his livelihood. He has to pay. No, we're repeating the story as it is, you know. But we're using it as a key thing because at the end of the day, this could happen to me, the loan, you, anybody. Okay, at the end of the day. But look, the important thing is how we as a community, we as a community can become involved in offering solutions. Because many times you say, aha, uh -huh, aha, uh -huh, the bad thing is, poor thing, you got 200 pounds of potato. Well, we can make potato salad for the rest of your life. No, 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 no. It's wonderful. When I become a part of that solution, that's when it's important. When I become a part, and then, okay, and I can convince my parents, ma, you don't want to buy 10 pound of potato? You know we got a barbecue this weekend, can I sell you 50 pound of potato? And then each student becomes a part of that solution, and we can make a difference. You see, man, collaborative what? effort between all, all 400, 500 uh, students can it, make yeah, a Yeah, because big a two pound and they sell a thousand pound of potato. You know what I mean? Yeah, the, you know, at least the money get back the expense. Sugar, say the man and show hello. Yes, my name is Ben Shopee. What's that? Ben Shopee. Yes, go yes, ahead. Yes, you're on the show. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, you're on the air. Yes, my name is gentlemen. I'm going to for the talk, so the talk about this potato thing. Uh -huh. I want to big up a uh, kudos go to the people then who organize this thing at the schools. Yes. To make them start to buy Belizean potato. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I really want, and I really want that, that, that every single school in this country start to buy Belizean potato. Make all the schools they start to organize something like this. Because to me, the people at the schools make better decisions than the politicians. Mm -hmm. yeah, they make better, better decisions than politicians and you know, all schools. You know, you know where they like display it. common sense. Exactly. Superpowers. And solidarity with the, with the local producer. Exactly. And if <clears> they <throat> do something like this, if all schools should have do something like this every so often, it would have minimized the contraband thing big time. Very, very much because you see what happened is that this the, it will be a purchase direct from this farmer in the classroom to in the home. That's right. Exactly. So there's no need to go to the market and buy potato. Make them stay there with the Mexican potato. Uh, and every time the farmers they, they grow their thing, I don't know if the government look like they try to undermine the farmers <laughs> or what, but then every time here the farmers they have to come out they cry so that they Give per, like, um, individual I, license to bring in the same thing with the I wouldn't say I wouldn't say that they undermine, but you know what, partner? Um, the, the 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 reality is where maybe nobody wants to say that every corner of the world, every corner, every division, you have racketeering. They go on, you know. 
So when when, when no, we're there on top. remember when remember when the minister said that the last you have to give justice way you the minister according to his record saying the last the license was issued on the 18th of January. By now that potato should have been done. It should have been done. So we, he never give no more license. <coughs> but if there's more potato in the market, then it have to be contraband. Then you have to find out that who they allow it to come in. Somebody know they do their job. Yeah, but uh, anyway, if the schools, they would have done something like this. All schools in this country. Yeah. Show solidarity with the local producers, local farmers. That's how I have to say. Cuts off to Muffles College and, and, and St. Catherine's Academy, boy. That's all, Carla? Yeah, one more thing. Yeah, man, go ahead. When it comes to coconut, uh -huh. Uh -huh. coconut Talk to me. only not where you collect about 10 different products or even more than 10 from. When I, in, a, in a, the early 90s, when Belizean News was going to. Yeah, we're listening. Yeah, when it comes to that, when I used to go to the clinic, the Merida, you know, the early 90s, the, 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 the Mexican doctor. Well, I know how come it's Belize and they go there with kidney problem, with stones, when coconut, that the only product you can prevent that. You don't have to take no medication, coconut water, prevent kidney problem, kidney stones. So how come is we not utilize these things? You know, in our World War One and Two, the coconut they used to use as IV. Mm -hmm. they, you 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 could use it and uh, burn it as used <laughs> as filter in a gas mask. So use the coconut. I don't know how we're not gonna factory yet to produce things from coconut. We're not gonna factory for a lot of things. <laughs> well, I agree with that. A lot of things. Coconut, you know, you know, you know, hard you, to you, do. You know what? Somebody tell me the idea, boss, and it's true. He said we import containers full. In coconut water? No, we import containers full with goods. I send them back empty. <laughs> well, that they have with donkey yards. Yeah, well, they say we have to start to send them back. We have we not produce nothing. Why? I don't understand this. There is system, you know. I don't really about yeah. who uh, they are. Yeah, the system, system that is system. The system we have with the corrupt politicians, they mean. Is that only the changes? politicians at that point, you know? I think that it's a lot has to do with the mindset of the Belizean people. Mm -hmm. We generally like, we not like, but we generally permit um, the, the, that part of the risk-taking of investment and so forth to gringos and other people from abroad to mm -hmm. come in. But then we're ready to point fingers at them when they make begin to make a little money. Mm -hmm. But... Um, that's just part of the colonial you mindset. See, I don't know if it's that colonial is, that is, that is the system said because you see you right the boss, if you have an idea for for have this coconut thing invested, man they wanna make you get in your, the bank want you get in your soul. Yeah, I agree. They want you get in your soul and this is from way back. I always use the example where I was I was small but I heard people talk about it. Remember when they have the cucumber farm up by the highway so what are they exactly. All right, wait, they said the white man they come with necktie and jacket mm -hmm. and they give them big money. And when they do they run one air operation and when they don't they pack up the rest of money and gone. Now when they you gone. when you want to go to the bank for a little thousand dollars for doing a little extension for your house, you have to do a whole payday, you have to carry the property title, you have to get somebody to sign for you. Why you know you don't know a green go with a necktie. Yep, you have to look like you have to bleach your skin. And the next, I'll go with necktie. Yeah, and the next thing too, the reality is, I, I mean, think this away, man, and I say, we Belizean have a bad habit and not support each other, you know. I agree with that, buddy. We not support yeah, each I other because I did tell you, the Lee, uh, we we always use this as an example. Lily can a store when Mister Gustavo own, you want go to go credit for him, and when you hold him, you you hide for nothing, you know what here, but you can't hold the Chinese man for you, see? And then yeah. when you got money, you got a Chinese go buy. Yep. So, yep. so, yep. so, yep. we, I agree with that. we, we need to change our mentality. Yeah, we need to change our mindset. We don't got each other back, partner. I tell you the truth, that are the reality. You know, we, we, we just know that a big store opens just so we go in there. We, need, we know that China, we, for some reason, China man opens store in the darkest part of Orange Jack, and people and still go there. They're fine, they're like a the China man have a home in the vice, yeah? I think that the Buddha. <laughs> I did, but thank, yeah, you. thank yeah, you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, and, and that's a that's a that's a big part, you know, mm. man. We 
the Indians and the Hindus and the Chinaman, they work together. That's why they say you can't compete against Chinaman in a business right there, I believe. No, because they got the market. They got a market. Some, some money they don't. Some money into you. big wholesaling now. Mm -hmm. Some money they get containers. They know they buy from San Casa and build it and place like one time. They, then they buy direct off of the, off of the ship. Mm -hmm. I want to convince to tell you that we are and we radiate so so much around the Chinese. Like I said, we're not anti-Chinese. Nah, we're just saying it as it is. We we radiate around Chinese groceries and supermarkets so much that if I were to sell my business to a Chinese Miley grocery shop okay because me not they make money out at Ali shop as soon as a Chinese take it over people going there let me let me give people you going there huh that Chinese take it <coughs> over now and you will go and you will support that that Chinese establishment. If after three years I decide to buy back from the Chinese, the support that you give to that business will stop because now it's Belizean owned. I did tell you that. I did tell you that. Watch, watch this. Uh, well, you are next. It's just what well, mindset. Why? We not support we own. We as a people don't be, don't begin to know how to work with each other, like the Mennonites do, like the Hindus do, like the Chinese do, like everybody else does, work together. But no, as soon as one they go up, the other one they try to but, pull pipe pants but, and drag on down. But, my friend, huh? I will tell you this, mm -hmm. it goes both ways. I know. Because, huh? I, want, I know I call a name, but as you all know, we're in the, we're in the, marketing business uh -huh. we sell commercials for a living mm -hmm. and when you walk in our store big hardware store or small hardware no matter mm -hmm. big, but this big are, small yeah, this are this are this are what happened this is a real store but i won't call names for professionalism sake mm -hmm. and you're talking to the proprietor you know like put on the ad for your man you know, only commercial, like everybody here where you got up and you don't need no commercial boy. See how much people in at my store? Mm -hmm. That's the mentality. I could recall, I could recall a couple of years ago when we just opened SCRS. We went to a certain water house station mm -hmm. and factory. Well, chief, you know, so and so, so, boy, we don't into that. We don't need that. <laughs> we don't need commercial. Water sell itself. We are right. So, you know, so much water station they don't know. They got about 8 or 10 and they don't know. Enjoy yeah, 10 street. might not be <coughs> more than 10. Some more than 10. About 15 at the other store. And then they produce ice too. <laughs> so, you see how you go? Time change. I remember when you were younger and, and, and your parents want to get to a Lee. Well, at least stove from the people who used to sell stove. Mm -hmm. They want to carry a whole payday. Mm -hmm. Then they will take out what they want and then give a change. And before you move on from that from that um, topic about the water, I would like to, I mean, I would like to see, just like we did a standard for rice, I would like to see the Bureau of Standards put out a standard, a business standard for the production of, of, of water and ice for the country of Belize. Okay, that is good. So and before that, I'm throwing that. So I was saying, your power and lease store, we can buy it cash, but no, they want to bring a PA slip. Back in the days, and they want to make somebody sign for one store. Bam, see the courts came along. Mm. Mm -hmm. You pay one dollar, you can't own a store. Mm. Nobody business. Mm -hmm. Proof of identification, and we're working at it. Dollar. Mm -hmm. What happened to the Arab competition? Fear is old. So you go both ways. You go both ways. At the same time, you want you want support them, but if they don't support you, then somebody hide from you. You go beg them for the donation for the community. They hide. And them, uh, some of them, some of the business, business people who you go support, yes, they pretend they don't. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Come back. 
Nu understand. They go con money though. Aha, when you tell you about how much the dollar, two dollar, three dollar, four dollar. So that one give and take thing. I just want to jump right back on the original topic. Topic which is the potato thing, you know. You say it should not be only potatoes, it should be for any product. I agree. Buy and support your local business. Because local, probably. Later you go back to ask them for sponsorship. Believe first as much as we can. That is the only way our country will move forward and provide employment. True, but like I said, I want to give a take. But first and <laughs> foremost, I think that our hearts and our, cent our, our, uh, our solidarity our support should be for our local farmers. I no. agree. No. No. That no means that you, I'm giving you the right, local producer, to produce inferior inferior quality. We want quality. That don't give you the right, because then I'll be the first to tell you open the, open the, 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 the borders for give you competition, because you have become complacent. Somebody said these potatoes are healthier than the Healthier, nicer. Man, and the red potato, potato, local potatoes are great. You see, I believe that. Well, I, I, buy two, I buy three pounds of potato the other day. I took two potatoes and I stick it up with, with, me, with the fork and I put it in the microwave for three minutes on one side, three minutes on the, on the other. Amen. Six minutes, I don't got mashed potatoes with leave it a butter. Mm -hmm. As quick as that. And firm, consist, you know, good consistency. So we want to say, can we want to say, big up Muffles College. Uh, it's a good if they are like high school and I take it down. And I think they will. They because don't want you to have, be left out. you have like technical, with a bigger college than the rest. Mm -hmm. Technical have about a thousand students. Mm -hmm. Imagine everybody that care who only two pound a potato. Martin, you know they talk about the next four thousand pound a potato going right there. So at, you know three pound each. And the good man, I, I like it. Um, we were talking about um, the idea on the show that maybe one good idea was somebody should have taken and uh, maybe buy the potato <coughs> bag there and fina fries and sell it to the local market, the restaurants, you know. Um, because what the restaurants they run from that, that, that I work, you know, man. This is food for thought, man. Well, that, when the idea they run from that, they peel a potato and cut up. Uh, so uh -huh. if you if you take on that and charge and leave price, somebody don't mind pay for it. You know, so they're just ideas. But why can't we, why can't we, Dylan, begin to do the packaging of our French fries? That's what I just mm. say. Sugar City French fries. You know what I mean? Made from, how the place box on it? San Carlos potato. <laughs> <laughs> Red potato. Supported by the people and a ballard of my. <laughs> and he not like that. I got the potato red. <laughs> I would die that sucker blue. <laughs> <laughs> Put that blue label on the back. <laughs> we go take bad thing for laugh. We're going to take a little break then. With that, we're take a little break. And I think we will be joined by a director to give us a little update on the movements with Leela. I hope you're ready. Four minutes away from 8 o'clock. We will be with the calm down right now. With the calm down, you know. We don't break out at the gate like Peter will has today. Maybe later, but we're calm right now. Big up on yourself. We'll be right back. This statement is issued by La Immaculada Credit Union Limited, LICU, to update its members on its court case against Mrs. Yolanda Gomez, former general manager of LICU. Mrs. Yolanda Gomez was terminated as general manager of LICU on 24th July 2015 as the board of directors had lost all faith and confidence in her management of the credit union. An investigation led by Mr. Cedric Flowers, certified public accountant, revealed serious mismanagement on the part of Mrs. Gomez, resulting in substantial losses to La Immaculada Credit Union. In 2015, Mrs. Gomez instituted claim number 538 of 2015, seeking a declaration that she had been wrongfully dismissed and damages resulting from the dismissal. La Immaculada Credit Union has not only defended that claim, but has also instituted claim number 723 of 2015 against Mrs. Gomez, seeking over $400,000 as quantifiable losses under her management of LICU. 
both claims were consolidated by the court and are being heard together. The trial of the claims commenced on Monday, 13 February 2017, before the judge. On Tuesday, 14 February 2017, after receiving the evidence of Mrs. Gomez Bob, prior to receiving the evidence of Lima Crada Credit Union, the judge called both parties into chambers and requested that the parties make an effort to settle the claims. If the parties fail to settle by the 23rd March 2017, the judge has indicated a desire to send the parties to mediation to seek an amicable resolution. If mediation does not result in a settlement, then the court will proceed with the trial. La Macrana Credit Union wishes to advise its members that there has been no decision by the judge in respect of the case. LICU has been assured by its attorney that it is not unusual for a judge to encourage parties to settle or to send a claim to mediation just prior to or during trial. La Macrana Credit Union maintains that the dismissal of Mrs. Gomez was for the betterment of the credit union and to safeguard members' funds. LICU has compelling evidence of mismanagement by Mrs. Gomez, which could very well have resulted in failure of LICU if this mismanagement had remained unchecked. Since the dismissal of Mrs. Gomez, LICU has reviewed and reinforced its existing policies to ensure compliance and accountability at all levels. La Immaculada Credit Union wishes to assure its members that all actions taken by LICU have been motivated only by the best interests of our members and that LICU will continue to implement policies and regulations that will ensure LICU's continued growth. Milk is life. Put on a bigger smile for 2017 with Dono Milk. Win big money just in time for the Easter with Dono Milk powder. Big, big raffle for the Easter. Dono Milk, the Belizean choice. You can join all these winners from the Dono Milk raffles. Win big money, free and easy with Dono Milk. $250, $500, $1,000, and six constellation prizes. Buy your Dono full cream instant milk powder at your favorite supermarket all over Belize and instantly get your free tickets to win Easter money. The drawing to win Donna Milk free money will be live on BBN TV, Belize Broadcasting Network, on Palm Sunday, April 9th, 2017. Donna Milk Powder is distributed by St. Anthony Trading Company Limited. Telephone 224-4514. We want Donna Milk. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me Donna Milk. I love Donna Milk. Busta. They see you and how you're living. Busta. Always a star. Yes, you live in color to the limit. Busta. Large and in charge. <laughs> yes, that's why you rock with Busta. Busta. Refreshing range of colorful flavors. Always a star, never the audience. You run things, things never run yours. Busta. Yes, you are the life of it, not just a part of it. Your life is never black and white. Live in full color. Busta. Dear Valentine, you are a gem. You fill my life with joy and pleasure, with all you give and all you do. You're a very special treasure. You're in my thoughts and in my heart. Wherever I may go on Valentine's Day, I'd like to say I care more than you will ever know. For this Valentine's Day, give a special treat to your loved one. With gold jewelry, you will find just the right thing to make a soul sing. And the only place you'll get value for your money is at Rapid Eat Loans. At Rapid Eat Loans, you can shop for jewelry by carat, stone or style. A genuine jewelry from us makes the perfect gift for that special someone or a treat for you. From now until Valentine's Day, we are offering great discounts on a wide array of quality and affordable gold jewelry. 
Find everything from rings, bangles, bracelets, anklets, chains, medals, earrings, and much more glittering pieces right here at Orange Walk Town, number 4 Police Corozal Road. So for this Valentine's Day, make us the perfect place to shop for that investment piece of gold jewelry that will last a lifetime. And for all those last minute urgent needs and unexpected bills, you don't have to worry no more. Rapidito Loans is the only quick and reliable solution for all your emergency needs. We provide more and better loans for your gold jewelry. So remember friends, great discounts on all gold jewelry. We take this opportunity to extend a warm greeting and wish everyone a happy Valentine's Day. Rapidito Loans, your number one money lending and jewelry center. Assertive, balanced, and charismatic. From economist, head of department, and trade union leader to city leader, the Naira Moya now leads discussions on national issues geared toward the economic prosperity of Belize. Tune in to Norte Vision every Wednesday at 8 p.m. for diverse, empowering, and informative discussions on the Zenaida Moya Show. Government investment in sporting and recreational facilities countrywide continues under the Belize Infrastructure Limited. In the Cayo District, the Victor Galvez Recreational Park, the Falcon Field Basketball Court, and the Santa Elena Football Field are all completed and being enjoyed by the community. The Penquevejo Marshallek Football Stadium is under construction and residents are eagerly anticipating its completion. In Dangriga, the upgrading of the Carl Ramos football field is complete and ready for matches. While the construction of the Dangriga indoor court and multi-purpose facility is well underway. In Punta Gorda, the residents are already enjoying the upgraded Toledo Union football field, while the PG indoor court and multi-purpose facility is progressing on schedule. The government is committed to building vibrant communities. Your vision, our mission, the government of Belize. Welcome back to the Sugar City Morning Show. It's Friday morning. Um, somebody, somebody sent me a text by and he said, Morning, morning, Dylan and Emmanuel. He said, going to beat the politics, beat it. <laughs> when are you not going to drink? I'm not going politics. You know, we're going to different time. You, know, you see what happens when you beat the politics, the pressure. But morning, Chicky. Yes, good morning, Mr. Jones. We are joined here by Mr. Robert Usher, a.k.a. Chicky. Good morning, Pa. How is that? I'm good. The hell telephone no rat. Why is that platicar con nosotros? Yes, but I, I try get something. Uh -huh. I try get your information. Mm -hmm. How is that? Yeah. Yes. I'm good, man. Well, I gather that this month, uh, uh, or the end of the month, beginning of the next month, we're going to be having three funerals significantly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of th yeah. three. Outstanding individuals. We four, have four. four. Bishop Dead, mm -hmm. Lila, mm -hmm. Chubby, and Mr. Cass. Mr. And Cass. Mr. Cass. Yeah, four. Mr. But Mr. Cass. Cass has been buried or no, will be buried? His week is tonight. His week is tonight. I'm in Belmopan. I'm then in Belmopan. Right. And tomorrow is the funeral service. Mr. Mr. Cass, by the way, friend, you know? Man, a regular <laughs> caller. Yeah. And the man it's, who it's supports. Yeah, this is the the last time, one time, when I had this teacher, mm -hmm. Raleigh, yeah. um, Emmanuel, um, we, um, we got the, um, out there, guys, I think this is the first release on it, but we got by the church, gone do the video, and Mr. Cass called me, he said, Koya, Koya, I got something I want to see if you can make use of it, because he tell me if you got for a lot of cassette long time. 
I never make it. He said, I got this thing. See if it work and tell me if it work, I'll take it. He gave me one, one big techniques, um, a big technique CD player, one techniques um, cassette player, all the speakers and everything. He so said, I know use that, you carry it. And then with, his, with the wires and everything, and um, when I gone, um, he meet me afterwards and asked me if I get it. Mm -hmm. I tell her, yes, man, I get it. Thank you very much. He, but it work? I tell her, yes, it work. Yes, I tell her, well, thanks very much, Mr. Cass. Thanks very much. You know, so I always remember Mr. Cass with all his humbleness, man. I know um, Mr. Cass used to um, work at the Orange Walk and um, Tong Kong Soo when Philip was the mayor as well, you know. Yeah, I used to work there and um, he used to be a very, very great, very great, great person, right? And very nice man. Yeah, man. I miss Mr. Cass, why? And the man always, when he meet up on the street, prepare to stand up and chat. Chat, yeah. yeah he chat with you, right? Like he's, talking politics. He tell me, I say, he say, when well, I yeah, the lone man, why I adjust the lone mic and leave it because when Emmanuel talk, Emmanuel talk harder. He, <laughs> come in on me, host, go hear it, go hear it, go hear it. <laughs> he was a very um. Who you call? Por naturaleza soy bocón, ¿no? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said, when when Emmanuel run off, he run off. Yeah, yeah. yeah he said, well, tell the lone mic he sit on the street, man, because I say like when the lone watch Emmanuel so. <laughs> I hear your voice go down and leave it. <laughs> That's just to show how concerned that gentleman was. But they're watching. Yeah, that's to show how concerned, and not only watching, but he's paying attention. He's concerned mm -hmm. about that's what, what, I mean. what uh -huh. we were doing here, right? Because people watch, and then they say, why am I here to say this? And you never say that. You understand? <laughs> so his week so will be. Away, yeah, he wake and be tonight. But he um, said, morning, Cheki. Morning, finally seeing you guys on 51 now. 51? Clean and clean, clear, keep. Keep it up, my friend. This is from Belize City, Myrna. Okay. Morning, Myrna. How was <laughs> that? Everything good? Yeah, all right. So, with the, the back on track that the city by the long. Yeah, with the back on 51 that the yeah. city. Thanks to everybody who has been responsible for getting mm -hmm. us back. Let me just read this now. It's from the posted on the Facebook page of the chairman of the United Republic Party. He said the United Democratic Party family joined hands and hearts with our party leader, Prime Minister Right Honorable Dean Barrow, in the expression of the deepest sympathies to the Castillo family on the passing of foundation, on the passing, the foundation of the family, Mr. Oton Castillo Sr. Our prayers are with the family during these sad times, and they bid farewell to their loved one. May the soul of Mr. Oton Castillo Sr. rest in eternal peace and rise to his just reward that what the udp put out no check it okay. as a man i'm a, a strong, warrior, support. strong supporter of the yes, udp man, yes, without man. without question but i miss the man um we know he's from belmopan so his body will be laid his remains will be laid to rest in belmopan but tomorrow he was uh part of the Red Rock community for what, Emmanuel? About 20, almost 30 yeah. years. Yeah. I remember 1990, when uh, I think 19, early 1990s or late 80s, early perhaps early 90s, uh, which would easily be about, say, call it 10 plus 17, 27, between 25 to 30 years that mm -hmm. he's been living here in, in the Red Rock. So and his wife is such a nice person. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Of them, why, both you know, of them. both of them. Um, we are missing the man. Definitely. Miss the man, man. Um, guys, I, re uh, I received one press release here, but somehow I cannot get it open, man, as the press release pertaining to all the activities leading up to the burial of Lila Verna. No, it's, it's telling me that um, it's unable to open at this time. The download was unable to complete please try again later so this is regards uh, to what to, um, what you want tell all me. the arrangements about Leela. okay but before well we know we, that uh -huh. before we go there i want to say something um rahim um yesterday the lawn with the um, talk about this thing about this radio station i say i take two years the back but he said he i take the first two I mean, I take the first one, <laughs> I never and I take, I take the next one. Check but um, I, the I really one. appreciate that. But you know, um, but he don't take the first. He say going back to the car. He know. He said he could fight, and so he said he can fight. So well, he go here and fix up things. So when you I see what I mean, Dylan, when I put words in your mouth. But when I reach there, everything all right. But the <laughs> thing is, but by the time he come out, I don't be. Here. <laughs> so I don't wait. But so he has spent. He has spent for one, but I has spent mine. 
Yeah, spend none. You get man. it back? We are pay you know. Because <laughs> yeah, we don't learn that we must comply then complain. Yeah. Anyway, um, today a Friday. It's a good Friday. On Mon When will Bishop be buried? That will be on Monday. On Monday. Monday. So Bishop O.P. Yeah. Martin will I, be buried they'll be having a in Belopan or in Belize City? They're having a mass in Belize on Belize, Monday, right? Yeah. You know? uh -huh. I'm not sure if the burial will be on that same day or the following day. CND, man. CND? I think that is CND. Or the mass on the Belize. Yeah, the mass on okay. the Belize. I think I have it here. Okay. Lila's funeral is planned for next week, Thursday, March 2nd. That is in Peter Claver Church on Main Street in Punta Gorda. It will be an official funeral, and it starts at 11 o'clock in the morning. That will be the second official funeral next week. The first is for Bishop O.P. Martin on Monday the 27th. So Bishop O.P. Martin will be uh, laid to rest next week, Monday. Uh, at the Our Lady of Guadalupe Co Cathedral in Belopan at 3 in the afternoon. He will be in third on the Co Cathedral's grounds. I think somebody asked the other day, and I don't know if it was Chucky or Dylan who asked if, uh, the, 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 um, if the custom of interring our bishops within the, the cathedral grounds is something that is still done or if it has been done away with. Now we have confirmation that it is not, it, they, that it's not being put aside yet, mm -hmm. that it's still being used. And the funeral for the other notable Belizean who recently passed Cecil Chubby Reno, uh, will be held on Saturday, February 25th, which is tomorrow, at the All Saints Church in Belize City. He will be interred at the family property in Ontario Village. Now, we, the rest of the story is superfluous, you know. Yeah. You know um, no need to go into that. Well, um, yeah, the passing of the Creole Brockdown Queen, the borough lady, mm -hmm. Leela mm -hmm. Vernon, we all know that um, the, the, the nation, right now the nation, they mourn a lot over all these different deaths that we're having. Emmanuel, not only of Leila, but the previous ones that you mentioned as well. Mm -hmm. And we know they still have things on the street where young youths get killed and things like that, no? Mm -hmm. But um, this, um, this passing of Leela, um, we in the, in the music industry, we felt it just like how you all out there felt it because you don't have to be in the music industry to feel one last half of anybody in your country where, where um, <coughs> you try to um, keep up the culture and they do the right things are sure in the right directions. If, if you see by some of the videos, um, when Leela performed the uh, schools at Belize City, you could see the small picnic, six years, eight years, and they dance up mm -hmm. along with Leela because she go explain the culture. And there's not one person who can tell the entire story of Leela Vernon. So don't expect me to tell all the story, because what I know, somebody else knows some things that I don't know. Mm -hmm. So there's not one story. Because of her contribution, and her participation and everything that she has done. No? You see, she has distinguished herself as an, um, uh, somebody who um, has been a stand supporter of the Creole culture, mm -hmm. you know, very vociferous, telling people, hey, who said Belize, uh, Belize Creole no got no culture? We got. Of course we have. But what she is doing is she's making you think, she's telling you, you know, she's, she's daring you, really, for like you begin to defend yourself and think about, yes, you do have culture, okay? And to look around you and to say, you know what? Alone, crap, what did it tell me that I, we not got no culture? Believe, girl, of course we got one culture, okay? So yeah. that very call to conscience is very important. Right, and to make us realize. To make us realize. Yeah. Um, to, to make us realize um, exactly where we come from, what would they do, you understand? And who, who are you, who are yourself, what you represent, mm -hmm. what you represent, right? But um, you do your part, boy. Mm -hmm. You do your part. You eat the fudge, the wangla, the tableta, everything. Eat the powder bun. Eat powder bun. And drink it, and you drink it after that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Yeah, but um, Monday they will be having a, a, a tribute 
at the Bliss in Belize City. They'll be having a tribute at the Bliss in Belize City on Monday. Starts at 6 o'clock. It's free for everyone mm -hmm. to come out and pay their respects. <coughs> Big among musicians have been gathered, Emmanuel, to come out. Where at? At the Bliss. At the Bliss. At the Bliss Center. And it's going to be a free? Free concert. Free concert. It's a tribute, right? It's a tribute. Yeah. And it would have been better if they would have done it in an open space. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Rather than having to. Because Bliss has a finite number of people who that it can hold. Yeah. You understand what right. I'm telling you? Yes, yes, yes. So, um, and if 3,000 people come in, you know? Mm -hmm. What's the capacity of the Bliss Dillon? Like 900 and almost 1,000. Almost 1,000. Like 900 and... Uh, yeah, and you know it, it's open to everybody. Um, maybe, maybe, um, maybe um, the organizers might have to maybe put on a big screen outside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly make, my point. Yeah, for make um, because like you said, the among people going. This is not only a Belize city thing. This is a countrywide thing. And you know she will be laid to rest all the way in Peine Punta Gorda, and it's mm -hmm. it's a little difficult for some people to go all the way in Punta Gorda, but definitely they won't be. They want to be part of it, mm. and so you yeah, definitely have many people that will be gathering at the Bliss and a good time, 6 o'clock in the evening, you know, mm -hmm. when people don't come out of work, you could have your time to go. And um, Ernestine Carballo will be doing um, Lila's rendition of the national anthem in Creole. You know, she may do the anthem in Creole as well, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so Ernestine Carballo will be doing that. They have other bands that will be performing. Um, and Emmanuel, you know that um, the performance program full already. What? If yeah, full, full, for believe. Yeah, if full. So um, I, we are trying to make arrangement to see if um, we will get in with Youth Connection Band, but um, we will get that confirmation today. Because if you go in, it's not like you want to play a whole hour, or a whole two hours, like you play for a show. I play a three, four songs, and once we go. Once we get Figatine, then we are definitely <coughs> play the songs for Lila. Yeah, which is one of your, which is your favorite song from Lila? What? Which is the one that moves you and tell you, aha, uh -huh, I feel, you know. Well, you know, the thing is that when time somebody write an album, Emmanuel, um, one song might be the um, climax of that album. Mm -hmm. And the song is Creole culture. But then people don't listen to the whole album because she have one song that says, Welcome to Belize. We say, PG Dami Tong. Mm -hmm. Don't you mess around. Mm -hmm. Nobody can take me away from here. Sing about PG. <coughs> boy Tong. And then he have, he have the one about the historical conk. Talk about the BMNs. Talk about different, different things in the country. So if you would listen to the whole album, I, I believe she have over three albums and then they have the one with the balaho mm -hmm. what about the balaho balaho yeah all the Keep dance the and the, the borough culture so, you know so i can i like all i songs in you know but so i can't really say that one is outstanding because all the songs there have a difference are you being so patronizing one of them must stick out all, all, all i songs there have something different in it and not only the words but the music mm -hmm. the music says a lot mm -hmm. you know many people like the creole culture because that i like the balaho one yeah. that's that's my favorite yeah that, that, that creole culture that one 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 is the most popular song and if you hear that tune of that creole culture we have heard that tune before apart from calling the, the, the creole people to conscience when it comes to and to trying to bring back and revive that creole culture what other message you think she had in her music by um fishy message um it's just like to keep the culture alive make keep you realize be proud of who you are to be proud realize. of who yeah. you are right you say because if you would go to um some garifuna communities in the south emmanuel mm -hmm. you are say the garifuna ladies are so they dress in the garifuna attires mm -hmm. every day they got a little head drop so these ladies are recognized by the way they are dressed mm -hmm. but then Creole, Creole, that, um, mm -hmm. you call it JC Penny? JC Penny Walmart. Mm -hmm. You understand? I understand what you mean. So, she, and, and they got a PLS, they end up the KLS. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your PLS, your wearless. <laughs> but you see, 
like I remember one time we got a visit she that PG. She got a Creole Creole suit, man. And she going to market and so she had come out as one Creole. Mm -hmm. And like you mentioned when we were on the show earlier in the week, that um, the place where she was is PG, which is a Garifuna community, and they got the Mayas there too. Mm -hmm. And she they're right there so they promote this Creole culture. Mm -hmm. You know? Which was Rice Market in the middle of what is not perceived to be a Creole, yeah, a Creole yeah. community. I, I think, you I know? think, um, when you listen to the conversation, and my, just allow me the, the joke. No, please. For me, man. No, but, you're, but, but you're not interjecting. You are, this is your, this is your privilege, my, right? <laughs> my, um, my favorite song, Fernanda, um, I want to hook the Creole mm -hmm, culture, mm -hmm. because it gives me a sense of, Recognition, like mm. you know, she the speak of we <coughs> cafe. Mm -hmm. But when Cheki give me the story about smoke and fire, mm -hmm. I have gotten to appreciate that song more. Not because me and Cheki are buddies and you know, with youth connection up on the island, but the way Cheki give me the story, you know, he wanted that like the band the jam with Leela, or hard breeze gonna knock down some tent, they look for rain, the lampposts to catch fire with the, 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 the transmitter, the bond. This is the one that spoke and fire. <laughs> and then, that, and that then the people they run All and right. she tell them boy, no stop, continue. Mm -hmm. Play the rhythm. And she said, Hala, smoke and fire, fire. And then the best part is that a couple of weeks after she carried her same impromptu uh -huh. in the studio and record her song. And that song come up on the Balaho album. Smoke and fire, fire. And, and I can't tell you that I'm a best song, but I learned to appreciate that song through the talent that she have more. You and see, then it just, it just make I open my eye to other songs. I mean, um, I have to tell you plain that we've been playing Lee Laverne and song on the radio for Sugar City Days, mm -hmm. the CRS Days, and way back. And who's a Creole Nangano culture has been the biggest. The people dance that song on stage. Mm -hmm. That song has been used in pageants, mm -hmm. in variety S show, yeah, school, school presentation. People dance that song in the street during parade with the mm -hmm. Lila Vernon. You know how you, they need to say the Creole costume mm -hmm. or the Creole dress. They say Lila Vernon <laughs> costume. Yeah. You know, I mean, so that are just my, I think, and, and I, and like I mentioned before, I, I am glad that I had the opportunity to meet them people and work with them people several times in my Lee ongoing career as a host and MC and entertainer on stage. It, it was always a pleasure to bring them on stage, to introduce them on stage and you hear the crowd receive them well. You know, when I say them, I mean like Mr. Peter's gone, you now Leela, I've worked with them and I couldn't have asked for more. You see, like, um, where Leela I mean, always say, man, we need to make one song about Kikaka, you know. And then at the same time, we're going to Kikaka, you see, I mean, me encanta la isla cariñosa, la arena, la, la, um, la arena, la langosta, mm -hmm. y la gente. Mm -hmm. From Kikaka. And then, that the inner part of the song of a smoke and fire. We're going <coughs> to play for this lobster festival. We play the Saturday night and the Sunday afternoon, we play again. And, um, I remember um, Chaparro me tell boy, look like he's in Reno, that I'm Mr. Guzman, because he has been a founder of the, um, of the festival in, uh, in Kikaka. Mm -hmm. that, was founded, yeah, that was founded by the Football Veterans Club. Mm -hmm. in, uh, right? Because you know they had um, Labsa Festa, um, Alweda, different parts, and they said, well, make Don't we, we, yeah, areas, make we make right. the Labsa Festa. If I'm not mistaken, I believe it started in Kikaka. So Chaparro tell me boy look at rain. But he said, I could try bring on Leela before you rain because the tourists were around and the local and the kids and I really want to see this lady perform. Mm -hmm. So we did jam the Creole culture and different songs for Leela when they look on big breeze they come. Mm -hmm. But when they a big tent and the breeze blow down part of the tent, so stick the jam and Leela said, Oh no, no stop keeping on the music and she started out. I want you look and transform my boss. Oh Christ. And she said, smoke and fire, smoke <laughs> and fire, Leela, youth connection power. So this Gina happened right there, there and then. Right, right there and then. It happened mm -hmm. and like the Lon says some weeks after she got in uh, the studio and record a song. You know? <laughs> you know, so um it's a youth connection and Leela they power stand. <laughs> and instead of watch the people they come and when you look, you see the smoke, you see the fire engine. Very few people have that ability to change 
Spontaneous. To, 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 to be as spontaneous and to be as, what is, what is the word? I don't know. But, but um, to be able to. Impromptu. Right, but to be able to grab hold of, a, of what can potentially be a serious situation right, mm -hmm. and then change it into something where, humorous. into yeah. something humorous. Like, like, when I, like, like one time I went to do a show in high school in Colorado and I dropped on the stage. Yeah, I remember the stage with Brock Down with he. Who dropped? He, I, I he made climb up on the stage. He would drop on the stage. Yeah, the stage well, never he said, I love to be yeah. there in the audience. Like I tell you how that thing happened. You tell me because he was part of the story. Listen to me. Like I tell you how that thing happened. You tell me. Okay, okay. I'm a believer in what you say. No? Like, like I tell you what happened uh -huh. with that. I don't want to make a straight for Lila, but I have to tell you since you bring that up. Uh -huh. You see, they may invite you figure. You make a mistake, you mention it. They may go invite you figure, do a show uh -huh. at the Corozal at the college. Uh -huh. They usually got a career there or whatever, or college, so they got entertainment. But then whenever you still got TV then time, so they make mistake with me and he. So when they invite you, they may think that me to come. Oh, so they crap. kind of stage with them, Bill. Well, that's prepared for, uh, uh, um. You get it, crap, right? Crap. So for, for his size, let's so put it lightly. Point, my, <laughs> <laughs> my point was that I fell on the stage and I just had to make it look like a part of the act. Yeah, okay. like, you know. And that, if you did that, yeah. that was good. No, I yeah. make it look like a part of the act. And everybody, <gasps> and everybody started laughing after what I did after that. But you know, I mean... Uh, Louis Mina, Pien. But I want to ask you, Chucky, I want I want to hear the side of you, you know, where as a musician and an artist who has backed up a lot of great artists in music, not only locally, I know you've backed up Calypso Rose, you've backed up some of the best, Keith Lynn, yeah. um, you've backed up people, good artists from the Caribbean. I think you've backed up the, the what's the group of him, Creme bring the last time? Let's just kiss and see. Oh, the back. Manhattans? The Manhattans, mm -hmm. you backed up the Manhattans, you know? But let me ask you this now, you backed up Mr. Peters. You know Mr. Peters personally. Yeah, I've, 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 I've well. been around you for some years now, and I can see the personal relationship that you have with these artists. It's not only through the band. You have a personal relationship with them. And the Palacio was like a brother to you. Yeah, you know, he's know gone. We live together. Yeah, that's right. He's As a matter of fact, I tell a lot of people that you are the one who responsible for bringing the Palazzo called Live the Orange <laughs> <laughs> um, He's gone. Mm -hmm. Mr. Peter's gone. And now Lila gone. Now, tell me how, how this affect you to know that these people you work with, these people who call you and share their idea about a song, share their idea about how they're feeling and the struggle at the industry. You know every, every aspect of their move. How does this affect you to know that then you go. Well, um, and, and, and a two-part question, what would you say to us knowing that we knew these great people? Well, what, what, what it affects, it doesn't affect like <coughs> the first time because um, see that um, when we used to play the Festival de Cultura del Caribe, I think Emmanuel is um, in, um, familiar with that festival. They have it in Cancun, Mexico City. Mm -hmm. and But right now, it's just the most like Quintana Roo. Um, we used to go play all of the songs, Ereba, Ereba, Cassava, Ereba, Ereba, Cassava. So one day, um, me and Andy was at the lobby at one of the hotels, because mm -hmm. you have whole day right there, so I tell Andy, boy, you know what happened? I said, there are people, they um, really enjoy this music, they enjoy the rhythm, but then um, I wonder if they really they know what we are saying mm -hmm. to them. And he said, "Boy, check you have a point, you know, because one time the um, Banda Blanca bring out this sopa the caracol, mm -hmm. um, they had an impression that um, punta or dance pair to a pint, mm -hmm. right? So then, so the punta, and that that's not really the, that, that that's not really it. So and they say, all right, um, maybe we need to do something in Spanish that they can understand." I tell I believe so. So that's where we sit down and we start. You thing. dance by a two pint when you don't know how to dance punta. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, so th this song was initiated right there. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with song. I say, Viva el Caribe, Viva. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Then a lot of people may feel like, and they say, Viva el Caribe. They may figure that just for the um, Garifuna people, uh -huh. but it's not that. It was the Festival de Cultura del Caribe. Uh -huh. So Viva el Caribe. Then it got um, da na 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 Cancun, na 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 festival. All that. Uh -huh. So. 
he realized at that time that he's trying to push the culture, but for people to appreciate it, you have to put something in that they, that they can relate, relate to, to as right. well, right? So, and then, like you mentioned, Mr. Pete, Mr. Pete, he must on a raw, raw Creole. When you hear the Acadian, mm -hmm. he's some raw. If you put Mr. Pete to a nice system, we got a lot of highs, so he know I hear that. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't go to the highs, because I hear me a car, ring, 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 ring. He want to hear it as he's supposed to song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember when we got to Los Angeles or perform with that Acadian, the man said, put a little bit more in the amount of time for me, want to feel it. So, how it affects, because now we see that Lila made a struggle hard to come up because the the world change, you know. The world change and people change. So from the late great and the Pigan, we see a lot of other young Belizean artists coming up. And not only from Belize, but Belizean artists that are abroad as well. But um like when um Andy sing he sing about things for for the Garifuna culture, like the Ereba Ereba. People I don't know, figure it out, but when he said Ereba, Ereba, Cassava, mm -hmm. he did tell her right away that this means Cassava. Right? Mm -hmm. So he teach the language through the form of the music. Mm -hmm. But right now, most of the songs that they come out, then they talk about one party, what happened here, yeah? or they talk about one girl. Broke off so, your back. Different things. So that's, the music is there, but that's not like holding up the culture. Remember when we had the Turtle Shell Band? We had the Turtle Shell Band. And then out of that, then we see that the Song City Band came up. And then the Songs Incorporated Band came up. So people say, Punta Rock, that what that rock, they put in the guitar in it, and the electronic instruments, right? So they call it Punta Rock. So it got a little bit from the Turtle Shell into the electronic music. My father, I call it well, Papa, Global Warming. <laughs> <laughs> so when it got to the electronic music, then after the electronic music, when Andy came back from London, you hear where Andy said with a song, I love me rice and beans, me fried chicken, me swing bridge, me friends FM and everything. He said, me going back, he said, really going back, me going back, you know. So all of the things there, when it comes to the music of all these guys that has passed away, where they say the, the teaching where Lila me they do when it comes to the Creole culture, they try to hold it up. But then we have um, Sam Harris, that um, San Ignacio as well, when they try to put in the Creole music, we have the guys emit an air all the way from Manate. The lady does say, I got a plantation, I smick a left across me over. That's it, I make a lay, my old fire stick bun down for me. But then they not put it in the form of electronic music. Brother David did a rendition of it. They just do it with the with all the drums, the African drums and Cali Creole drums, but then they do it around the campfire too. Mm -hmm. You understand? So then they keep that up and then we have Miss Myrna. She don't write a book after Philip Goldstein. We got one and write after Lila. He write book after different Creole people and different aspects of oh, sure? Creole. Mm -hmm. Bernard Manson, Mr. Bernard So, right yeah. now, that um, Andy gone, Mr. Peter's gone, Lila gone. Then now, which one of the young groups mm -hmm. will they come up right now? Want say how we are keep up that type of culture? So that's the way it, it affects the entire country and the entire culture. It's not that it only affects me So, so then you're, you're, you're telling us uh, you're, you're taking with you, you're still, you, what will instill with you is the struggles and the, and the type of way, the way they projected their music out there. Yeah, because they hold it raw. Okay. You know, I remember um, one time we got Lila hold the, the drum, I, I'm, I don't remember the drum, if that is the borough drum or a drum, but she hold the drum and said, we're not playing nothing. Bang, 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 she beat the drum. I explained to them people what this drum is about. Mm -hmm. So, there are a lot of electronic things that she more want to deal with. But then, you know, the electronic things, you find it that it's much easier to do it. But when it comes to the culture, because you have to have somebody where they play this, somebody they play that, and it come like a combination. It's like when you put an orchestra together, a symphony together. Everybody play the, the, the role, and when you put everything together, then it comes in the form of a fanfare of a song. Well, wonderful, man. I mean, no. I, I, I think I would say that you would tell us it was a pleasure for you to have worked and <laughs> had this relationship with those people as a musician, as an artist, no? Yeah, because um, we know a lot of them gone by, man. Remember, we had um, George Key a little bit and one of strings. We had right. Price. But like I said, not one one person can tell the story of them people, you know. Let's take this card. Sugar Silly Morning Show, hello. 
Last month, the House of Representatives unanimously supported a bill to protect our central bank's assets from international predators. When it went to the Senate, everyone supported once again. Even this guy, PUP Senator Eamon Courtney. Absolutely no one in this chamber, myself included, Senator Perifee, will vote against a bill that seeks to give further immunity to the assets held by the central bank. No one. But, but. Yes, there was a big but. That very same Courtney filed a constitutional challenge on behalf of Lord Predator to strike down the very same law that he just supported days before. He and Lord Predator want to freeze our country's entire foreign reserves blocking all international trade for Belizeans. How can you be Senator for Belize while being the chief commander in our enemy's army? There is no place for national betrayal in the Senate. Public enemy Eamon Courtney should resign now. escape from your daily schedule? Why not become a tourist in your own country? Discover Western Belize. Transport back in time and be awed by the reminiscences of the Mayan civilization. Be adventurous or spend a day with family and friends enjoying the serenity of the Macau River. Sample a Kaya staple or pick up some fresh produce to make your own delicacy. Come visit us in Western Belize. Belize, where you can discover how to be a Belizean traveler. Get double your data for a limited time only when you buy a Digicel prepaid plan starting at $4. What does that mean? Well, when you buy a 200 megabyte plan, you get an extra 200 megabytes totally free. Double your WhatsApp, double your Instagram, double your Facebook, double your Snapchat, double whatever it is that you do. Get double the data to do all the things you love to do. Get more data for your dollar with Digicel. Expect more, get more. Always more with Digicel. As a testament to government's commitment to improving the lives of all Belizeans, in 2016, the Ministry of Investment, Trade and Commerce, championed by Bell Trade, secured approximately 300 million in new and expanded investments, leading to over 1,500 jobs in tourism, 
agro-business and business outsourcing. The ministry continues to facilitate meaningful investments that will improve the lives of all Belizeans. All Belizeans. Let's get ready to rumble! Get serious. Get bop. Dino, Dino, drink it every day. Dino, my father, father family. La Semana Santa se acerca. No tiene dinero. Leche Dano te pone dinero en tu mano con su gran, gran, grandísima rifa 2017. Leche Dano busca ganadores, tú puedes ser uno de ellos. Ven, únete hoy a la gran rifa. Habrá premios fabulosos y fáciles de ganar con Leche Dano. Premios de 250, 500 y hasta 1000 dólares. También seis premios de consuelo. Compra hoy tu Leche Dano y participa. Encuentra Leche Dano en tu supermercado favorito en todo Belice e instantáneamente recibirás un boleto para entrar a la gran rifa de Semana Santa de Leche Dano. El sorteo se llevará a cabo en vivo a través del canal BBN Belize Broadcasting Network el domingo de Ramos, el 9 de abril de 2017. Leche Dano, distribuida por Sin Anthony Trading Company, teléfono 224-4514. Leche Dano, cremosa, instantánea, saludable, lo mejor para ti. Everyone needs a getaway. Why not do it in your own country? Sun, fun, and relaxation are just a short distance away. Have a taste of barefoot living or enjoy the songs and taste of an authentic Garifuna village. Allow yourself to be swept away by Southern hospitality and living. Escape the hectic world and enjoy a beautiful sunset. Belize, where you can discover how to be a Belizean traveler. Tienes ocho cilindros. Eres adrenalina disfrazada de aleación de aluminio a ocho mil revoluciones por minuto. Así como así. ¿Será el cigüeñal? Una limpieza de inyectores y un cambio de aceite. Vas a correr con libertad, campeón. Los que entendemos al motor como si tuviera voz, hablamos máquina. Roche France, poniendo el mundo a funcionar. Ahora distribuido por German Vega Son. Búsquelo en su tienda favorita. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, <laughs> Cinema, uh, sure. it's, it's a full Friday. I'm the sun is set. Yeah, it's a Rufo, Rufo. I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to apologize <laughs> because what you're seeing here is a uh, effect from the break. You know, you know, you know better not have my phone going. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Let's just take this call and, and see who is on the line. Sugar Cinema and show hello. Here good morning. Morning. Yes. Sir. The program will have the every morning, but Mr. Martinez, welcome back. Thank you. And I you know you are the only one with the prayers. The guys here, so they're not some Catholics. Why not pray? They might not pray, but they have a lot of prayer, especially alone. I heard him pray a couple of times, you know. Thank you for that. I want um, to clarify. Yes. Okay, come on, Charlie, then, guys. But, ding on the bread, Mr. Chiki. Good morning, brother. You're the one with the other two. 
A veces a las veces cosquillas a Dilón que lo saque, pero... <risa> el hecho es... Lec para Lec. Y bueno, ya por puta que no. Yes. <risa> Okay, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So, put it in perspective. Yeah. Uh, to put it in perspective. Thank you for that call. Yeah. <laughs> you see, the last <laughs> time, the last time when he prayed, uh, I closed my eyes. Uh, I see if he, if he closed his uh -huh, eyes. Uh -huh, he tell uh -huh. me yes. He tell me. I tell him about I understand one your eye. Me open. He say how I see. I tell her Rahim got it right there. Mm -hmm. Why did the man pray? Got one eye shut, I want to open. <laughs> See, you know, you know why? My father like just sleep in the whole eye. So, but then I remember one time he said, uh, you asked him, he said, oh, why you never shut your eye? And then, uh, and then the Lord answered, oh, how you never you know shut my eye? That means for you, I'm open. <laughs> uh, 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 Rahim said, uh, 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 uh. You see what I face when I'm up on the show with these two guys. And like, yeah, but like I say, man, you know, like I say, um, it's hard to make one person tell all the story of these great actors. Nah, but Chucky, yeah. I want to, I want to ask you a question. It says that we have heard people, good people like Leela, giving us, um, encouraging, encouraging us to promote our culture. Who, to be proud of it, of our culture, you know, and to promote the culture. We have people like Mr. Peters, who has been an advocate for, you know, the Lembo Kotora and all of those songs that Salam are typical, and typical cruel. It's a call to who you are, to your nature. And despite all of these efforts from all of these people, we still have that proliferation of that thing, which I don't like to call music, but mm -hmm. that thing, that buck up your back thing, because I prefer music any day. Why do we still have all of these? Is it, a, is it because it's a call to our own sexuality? Or, or is it just a sign of the times? Global or warming. Wally fading transient process? Or, or, or what is it? You I don't know if you because if you ask them, because if you call some of the young people and ask them to tell you about how um, a Ghana man, for seeing a Ghana man, I think they would know how to begin. Yeah, when you see the girl they come in, then they come in down from... No, a Ghana man, a tea. Yeah. We did yeah. Oh, yeah. spend one week and a half. Yeah. Yeah. You know? The one they they would know. I'm jukte, penguin jukte. Are we doing enough efforts to try to keep up the culture alive? Or is this just plain talk and we we need to begin to walk the talk? Uh, we, we we are we are trying to <coughs> talk about this, but I'm not sure if many people would remember songs like these. Um, I'm not gonna see if you guys will know who say starvation is not right. Creole must uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and rice. Mm -hmm. Come make we bring back the old fashioned rice. Christmas with the boom and shine. Exactly. And uh -huh. That's the great brand for um, Uh huh. Right. You boom, know, boom. Yeah. You know he used to hook up with the guitar and Motaga and he do his thing. Mm -hmm. So he's an next great Creole artist as well, and he's still living. In the you states. Know? Yeah. See, so he they say starvation is not right. So he they see what they happen out there. Creole must plant more beans and rice. We need to get in on the culture. We need to keep up the culture. The kind of music that is coming out right now. That's why um, that's still music. We have to commend the artists who doing what they believe in. But mm -hmm. they are not I prefer music any yeah. day though. But they are not the only artists that they that were the out there. So if you know you have that passion, when you guys had the um the Christmas extravaganza two years ago, they had a gentleman that came here with a guitar. Mm -hmm. I think it was Mr. Bolt. Mm -hmm. And then they played, then they played the same tradition and music. But you see, when a lot of people not figure out but when they figure, hmm, if I sing them with my shy music, then I will then I will play music. I don't want to hear them. Eh? But that's why this lady maybe they try Clamor in a way for make we try to keep with culture together. That that's where because then the kind of music, it might be you as a cultural person or you got a lead culture because you do that, but the kind of music it's not it's not the Belizean culture. Let me let me then then, then the international music. Mm. Let me let me put my little two saying that mm. like I say put, I'm listening. Put, put three. Um I think the amount of music that is out there when we talk about, because basically, because of Leela, this conversation sparked. Mm -hmm. And I think that enough air time is not given to the type of music that we're talking about. 
it is good that we can get representation on an international stage when it comes to the Garifuna music. Mm -hmm. People into the Punda. The Garifuna collectives. Gar right. It is good because they carry the name Belize. Mm -hmm. But it is also <coughs> noteworthy to recognize that it's not only Garifunas that live in Belize. Mm -hmm. We have Creole, we have Mestizo, we have all kind of culture. But, but when it comes to their music, they are doing a hell of a good job in promoting their culture. Their culture. And you have to give a hot up. No. Well, what do you think? Because of the complacency of the other culture? Well, no. We have people in position in governments who, like the culture, who's responsible for this. Listen to me. You can't sit down and complain. You have to make things happen. Mm -hmm. Technology. It's an important um, tech thing. The, that I read said. a saying that they said, in order to get on your feet, you got to get up off your ass. Mm -hmm. Technology, they have to make we use. Mm -hmm. Creole music, now beautiful music. Listen to me. The Creole language, they hear everybody. Mm -hmm. And I always say. Everybody that believes no talk Creole. I always say, if you could talk Creole, and you could understand what Creole, you don't need a UV degree. Mm -hmm. Because Creole is a difficult thing to deal with and understand. But if you got it lucky, you know, alright. Now, my point is this. We need more airtime on the radios. Police got more radio than bloody days of the week that they are in the country right now. If that the way you play on the radio that our people are listening to, but you know what they do? Saturday morning, you put on some of the radio early, that then you hear... They sneak in Wally. Straight from they squeeze in Wally. Straight from Sugar City when everybody they sleep. <laughs> you understand me, Manuel? Then you hear Wally Peters in the back. Then you hear Wally. They squeeze her in like from six to nine, six to eight, seven. After that, they jump back on the North American music, which is prime time. Mm -hmm. We know they get enough playtime. From since I could tell you as far back as fifteen years now. Since Shakira is on the radio, he has been playing Belizean music one hour straight every day and talking about the artist non-stop. He left Sugar City Radio, that program stayed there as Belizean Echoes, and now on Universal Radio, his own radio, that is Belizean Voice. The same format, same pattern. We need more airtime when it comes to the Belizean music. When you put on someone in channel like from Belize City, mm -hmm. After 12, they have on the TV and the channel radio to play. Man alone, American music, put on your cultural music, man. The people in a foreign where they wake up and they listen to it, they're happy for hear one the strange music. You know, but when you put it on, let's get it on. You know? You put on one Lee Lila, put on one Lee Lila, make it run because then you, the more you play it, but we don't get that. I don't know why we don't get that. The next thing. The people who is supposed to be responsible to promote the music use the technology. When you open Facebook, you don't see nothing about Creole culture on Facebook. How much people don't use Facebook for the day? Everybody. How 99%. Much? Log on to <coughs> Facebook and Facebook that when you put it there, if they don't want to see it, they have to watch it. Mm -hmm. If they're not scrolling, they become they're not gaina. Use it. They have ways how you could promote the culture. And I think we could sit here and we could talk about the people who should be able to do this. But you have to do a part too. Mm -hmm. the right. the one, the one, the, just my thing is the one, together effort. Mm -hmm. me, collaborative, collaborative effort. effort. Mm -hmm. And right. you talk Creole, you know. Mm -hmm. If I'm English, I say collaborative, mm -hmm. together effort. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. like Collective like, agreement. I agree with you. Go back to where Manuel made the ass. But before I go there, I would like to acknowledge as well, Brother David. Yes. Brother David. You know, Brother David, bring the song Congo music. Mm -hmm. If you hear Congo music, first thing I feel, this is some, something for Africa. Mm -hmm. Does it sound like Congo? Yeah, but you know what I mean? The let's Creole, go. Congo. Congo, let's, let's go. go. Congo. Let's go. Congo. Mm -hmm. Right, so. But you see, Emmanuel, those type of music that. That means to talk with some people, a broad Creole as Congo. Yeah, Congo Congo. I remember, Congo. 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 Mr. Bat used to tell me, Congo Manuel, yeah. all right. So you know what happened, Chiki? Everybody got a TV in the house now. Yeah, Congo music. Mm. But you say the type of music where Emmanuel may talk about that are playing and yourself alluded to it, that are playing on the radios and the type of music where some Belizean artists, they come out, they are competing with a wider spectrum 
of music and of artists. Mm -hmm. Because the man doing that kind of music, every day, every day, at least what thousand of songs come out. Out of that thousand, maybe five of them might hit. Let's take this call. Hold that thought. Sugar, sing and show hello. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, go ahead, sir. You lost the call. Hello? Please call us back again. We lost the call. It's running. So, I, I don't know. so Emmanuel Sonny, a monk of music, they will come out. Um, so much music come out. You can't hear all of it. Maybe five out of that might pick out a come out to beep on the billboard or you hear it over and over. And the kind of music where, they, where some of the artists from Belize, they bring out the same type of music there. So, somebody will bring out a song today, a Benova Benova song. Five years from now, three years from now, you now hear that. Maybe a month from now, you hear it. But you are here with Creole culture. You are here with Garifuna Collectives. You are here with Youth Connection. You are here and the Palacio. So then the music will live on. I agree with you. So going into that, everybody got their own way how they want to do their music because right now, like the technology is so on, you could take one laptop and you, you could get one acid program, you could get some kind of recording program, you could build your own beat that you sing over that. So what you're telling me is that all the, 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 the music... Challenge. Uh -huh, what we hear is on that. It's very transient, very transitory. Yep. You only two, three months, you hear it, and after that, it's gone. Yeah, because... Yes, you know, yes, yes. But, so the, it did. but the... But the but the traditional, the traditional music, of Belize, music is there forever. That lives on. The, the, the traditional music is the part of the process that starts small mm -hmm. and end up big. Yeah. The outer world music starts big and end up small. Two different things, you know? Yeah. You know, guys, um, I think it was like two, three years ago, one of the traditional Belize songs, I not so remember if the Agana man auntie or that it, the... Um, Penguin joke me, mosquito bite me. That was selected as one of the songs for Quintana Roo um, to use for their tourism aspect. You know, that was done in symphony. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that song was done in symphony. And if you know the song and you understand it, you are hearing it in songs so professional, like well, if you listen to see? Pavarotti. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But then you see, Aaron, we don't watch, know watch, anything watch with that. Watch, watch this right now. Watch this right now. <coughs> you are telling me that. First time in here, uh -huh. but you were there. Yeah. All right, so then why. Our people that are in control of the wheels allow these opportunities to pass by. Why don't you just try see them people? Bring it out. Can we record this? Mm -hmm. It's so, so you know what? They don't might understand the penguin joke, but in a symphony, it could sell at the US. Yeah. That's still the same rhythm. That will carry up our different level. But we know this we know this city. When we know. went to um when we went to the festival the cultura del Caribe in Uganda, the street of federal we did a recording along with Andy Palacio over there, a raw recording in a studio. Then we went back to Cancun and they finished it in Cancun. Whatever happened to that recording, and I don't really know. Remember in 1991, UNICEF sponsored the Campus Tour. When we went on a Campus Tour, Andy Palacio, he sit for about 40 minutes and talk to the young people. A lot of people, when they were in a school at the time, grew up already, and I know they could remember that. Talk to them about the Garifuna no, culture, no, how they, the Garifuna live. No, they bring they bring our conscience. <laughs> one way, I, way, for the students there, mm -hmm. they bring one way, I tattoo red, mm -hmm. I sing about demon, mm -hmm. and they bring our Uncle Sparta, mm -hmm. with that about demon and devil. Mm -hmm. And father try to stop, then they run to the news. Yeah, you see, you see. <laughs> Come on. Well said. Well said. But then it, Come go on. it goes back to the unity as well, Emmanuel. If you're not unified, we if you we not got one another back. Yeah, because see, like this Saturday right here, so Youth Connection Band and Ernestine Carbayo and the Futuristic, I believe it's March Band. We will be representing Belize at the Cultura. Um, at the carnival in Belize, carnival in Chetumal. at the Esplanada. So, what is happening now? You just can't go there and get a call. Sugar City Manju, hello. Good morning. Yes, Good morning. Good morning, Good morning sir. I was talking just now to myself. I make mistake and press the button and I didn't know that the line was cut. Well, the good thing is once you never answer yourself, sir, everything is all right. <laughs> well, I almost, I almost asked myself the question. So but um, pertaining to the music, I 64 years old, and I grew up in the Cayo district, whereby we used to listen to Pine Battle, 
We used to listen to Greta, Bad Pan, Empty Bucket, Arcadian, old guitar. But it was really melodious, melodious dancing music. Um, But today the youth has been taken over by Western music. And some of these music are extremely nasty. And I mean nasty. Um, one, one thing I noticed that with the school where my child go, they have a Christmas party, they have disco at night when they have the fair. And these teachers would allow themselves to take dirty music for these children to dance for their party in the classroom. I experienced that, and I mentioned it to one of the teachers, and I how come we do allow them children for the dance that in other place. You know, see how the children in the Guan, similar to the girls, the ladies in skimpy clothing on TV, I tell them to show them play their music. And he would say, well, that's all we got. That is not true. Um, I, I believe I, something is wrong somewhere that, that the... Adults have just, well, not all adults, but a lot of adults have given up. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> they have given up on them. Um, they have given up on um, the, 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 the correct attitude they're supposed to have with their child, especially at home. Because you pass some of those homes, mm-hmm. you listen to the music coming out of those homes, it's awful. And the children they are listening to it, so they believe that's the type of music they're supposed to dance anywhere they go. I I I I enjoy the program. I can't call every time because things are hard out here, so I can't buy credit every time. You don't feel capable, man? Not yet, not yet. That a problem. I catch you up on rabbit ears, but now and then only ten I get. So, but the um the the, the audio keeps going. Um, but anyway. I still watch the channel. I appreciate on the show and I really come very good with with advices, with programs beneficial to the public. And I just hope the public listen to Uno and try to correct themselves, especially their children, and get rid of those music because we only want Mr. Martinez to go and block it back, block it back, block it back because I can't work again. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you all very much. You are welcome. You are welcome. Yeah, so 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 what we talk about Emmanuel, you can't just go to Mexican side and jump on stage and perform because they have mm-hmm. the the union mm-hmm. syndicato there, mm-hmm. and then so they uni they, they they unified. So usually when we band from any other country go up there, a Mexican band have to perform as well. Along with right, okay. they may they try put it together here with Tony, right? And that's why they start this thing with the um the song first in September. Because mm-hmm. at the time, the late great dragon used to come and Belize and used to mash up Belize and all the Belize b- bands they were left out. So when they used to come, they used to always put Santino's messengers to play along with them. But now, when the other artists they come, they, I mean, also implement a thing that they have to pay 10% um, entertainment tax. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that is still on, you know. So when the big big artists they call, like the Lord mentioned, that a lot of money they people charge, but one Belize and band not play them. Why? Not only because the person who hire Belize and Bamba, but they are saying well, the kind of music want to play, there are people who come in their concert now want to hear their music. So, you get issue. So, that, that one whole, that, that, that one lot of thing, that not just something that you could go through and get it going and figure out, right, everything bright and beautiful, you understand? Well, you see, again, it, it boils right back to to our whole conversation because the one we were talking about, we know each other back. Mm-hmm. Because, in the music industry, this uh, we're not so long get into it, but it tight, it tight, and our uh, bad minded game. A lot of cutthroat, cutthroat. We we know of some experiences. I carry the wrong checky every day. Uh, checky call, the call checky for a job, checky getting a quotation. Uh, let's Everything say, bright and beautiful. Checky tell uh, ten dollars. Oh yes, it's good, beautiful. Come we assign the can when you reach it. Uh, you know the band for the next band for in York, send go do it for four dollars. Check it and go ahead. Living experience. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. So with that, check it. I just also want to share with the people before. Anything else on Leela, check it? Yeah, um, you know, Leela was referred to as a queen of Brockdown. You know, she was so, she was an activist throughout her lifetime. In Belize of the Creole Culture, in 2004, she was recognized as Artist of the Year by the Institute of Creative Arts and recognized as Woman of Culture 
by a niche. You know, the ministry. I hope to God that we can get more people like Leela. Why? I know you see. Yeah. You That's know she, the point. You know she has score. her brother as well that is in the Creole mm -hmm. music as well. You see, you see, Cheki, one of the things is what we have Miss Myrna Manzanares, who is very... She's the she's a Creole attaché. She mm -hmm. into it and promote. But you know what? It's still not reach as far as Lila because Lila is a musician. A I'm music that music music that in universal language. Mm -hmm. You understand me? People, once you sing it, people and grab onto it faster than when you say it because it's the singing and music, the power. Exactly. And everybody could relate to you through music. You know, like when you look for, for music, as you think, any, okay, I've seen this over the years. Um, people at school, Emmanuel, teachers, students, they got any project for music, who you think they go find? <laughs> huh? Check it. They don't know Cheki or no. Somebody come up to him and say, Mr. Cheki, no, 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 you got the wrong man. Who the Mr. Cheki? Say, and you could help me with any music because this, that, and any Belizean or, or sing my legion music. They don't know Cheki or no, but then they come like they know him because people connect with each other through music, music that the universal language. So Leela will have gone as far as any one of them who come behind, as, like I say, Miss Myrna. We know the feeling because you know maybe you know the most I woke up this side. <coughs> but in her area, people people know Miss Um Myrna for, for Creole. Yeah, got it up on the Creole Council. Then up on the Creole Council and they and then do their job. You remember one time we did a Creole day here in Orange Drop, right? Yeah. Well, I'm a nice cook, cook on a boot, stretch yeah. my guts, wangala, rice Shoe and beans, stew super. The full works yeah. and the drum them in the auto. Yeah, guys, we have to go. But before we left, um, um, this was a schedule that was um, that was published, and you know that the media wrongs is on right now. TV and radio tribute them in the dome. Mm -hmm. Then on the twenty fifth, which is on Saturday, we'll have a tribute as well. They, they have the street art art festival on Albert Street in Belize City at five pm. The culture will be presented there. Then Monday, um, celebrating Lila's Lila concert at the Bliss Institute at 6 p.m. Then Wednesday, March 1st, Creole Week and Bram in Peine, Punta Gorda. Mm -hmm. Creole Week and Bram, the Peine, Punta Gorda. Then on Thursday, March 2nd, it will be the funeral service there in Punta Gorda. Then I have one Bram after that. I believe it's around the town council area. If any, any artists in the community would like to participate or attend any of these <coughs> events, you can get <coughs> in touch with the National Institute of Culture in Belize City, NICH. Their number is 227-2110. That's 227-2110. It said the heart of a country is its culture. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was Leela Perchi, right? Okay. The heart of a country um, is our culture. And um, we are on behalf of the band. I would like to see it to all the community of Belize, everybody who love the music, not only the Creole culture, but you know, if we make a flag for fly, we have to fly the bottom too, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, yeah, because we feel it as well, not only as artists, but as Belizeans as well, because artists that Belize like that, we close, you know? We are very, very, very close. I wish the media could have been that way that everybody close together, right? Mm -hmm. But um, as but artists, it's that only as Belizeans uh -huh. in a whole, I think I will start to cut each other through. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And for Stop. as much as the last may be personal, it is a national loss. Yeah. yeah. And also, gentlemen, I don't want to share Cheki. We have um, today is what the twenty third, twenty fourth, twenty four. At the March thirty first, we have a the big comedy show comes up at Belize City. Is that a part of the Creole culture as well? Yeah, Belizean. It, it named Belizeans got joke too. We'll be featuring Leo Mangar and Mr. Habit from Kyle. And for the first time on stage, Facebook phenomenon, um, Jennifer Burrows uh -huh. will be on stage. Mm -hmm. She's quite a popular person on Facebook. And myself, Dylan Jones, will be there. Our host will be Mr. Robert Chucky Usher for the evening. Uh -huh. We will have prizes to give away to participants. And I want to say that tickets will go on sale as early as next week. Right. Tickets will be on sale for the show. Hard, hard tickets or online tickets? Or no, no, hard copy. Hard, hard copy. Mm -hmm. Box we'll office. Box office will go on sale. Okay. <laughs> and the ticket guy, at least you are number. We're lucky if we walk away with something. Okay. From that, um, we'll go on sale as early as next week. The flyers will be out as early as Monday. And we promise to bring a good show for you at the Bliss. 
It's going to be big. Belizeans got jokes too. Look out for it. March Tell 31st. the date again. March 31st. March 31st. And we also want to say big up to Pepsi, to Chabo Cabanas, to Sutherland Top Value. ENR. ENR. The Bliss. The Bliss. And everybody. And who everybody who helped help make this show possible. I have some more people we'll be mentioning next week. So look out for the ad too. And it's going to be big. We promise to bring you a show, you hold your belly and laugh till your belly busts. Laugh till it drop. So not yeah. come like the Chinese man. Chinese man say, how come baby come and Chinese man not come? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, on, on my thoughts for this morning, I want to invite everybody to come to <laughs> Chetomal tomorrow, Explanada La Bandera, Youth Connection Band. Also, Ernestine Carbay will be there. They have the Futuristic Marching Band. I believe they have some dance group that will be there it's free for everybody come mm. and enjoy yourself will be here good though because mm. over then i don't like no they know better 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 no Mourners of Belize, we join, we join with you all. Um, the passing of the Creole Brockdown lady, Queen. You mentioned Lacan. last week that perhaps there was a distinct possibility or that Calypso was going to be there. Yeah, that wasn't materialized. That does not materialize. Yeah, that was not materialized. But and maybe so for some other day. And for all I want to make a bust this out of the bag before go. For all I want to people who they ask for a nice dance with youth connection. Oh, yeah, Mr. Esparas asked for it, the youth. Yeah, look out for it, Mother's Day, could they come? Yeah, mother is there. So, Pastor said, turn into Gloria David. Yeah. <laughs> so, rest in peace. Rest in peace, Leela. Rest in peace, Mr. Cass. His week is tonight at the Lions Den in Belmopan. Funeral service will be tomorrow. The bishop as well as Chobi and everybody who has passed away, sealing ship, you know. So, I'd like to thank everybody who tuned into the Sugar City Morning Show and stay tuned to Universal Radio over the weekend and the entire week next week for more songs from Lila Vernon and more history that we'll be talking about her on the 11 o'clock program. Compañero Venezuelas, gracias por su sintonía. I want to thank you for tuning on to the Sugar City Morning Show. It's exactly a quarter after nine. It's about this time that we have to say goodbye. Um, so we want to acknowledge the efforts of Mr. Rahim Wagner, Morris. We have our director here with us, who is a wealth of information and knowledge in in this regard. So we have to let, we we dragged him into this into this this set this morning just so he can share some of that bounty of information that he has locked up. And um, I think that if you ever want to sh to write a book, I I I will be one of your one writers. of the, the one of your writers. And as soon as something comes out, I'm out and hurry it down. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, so enough forget. Okay, so enough forget. On that note, my name is Dylan Jones. My name is Emmanuel. Cuídense mucho. Stay safe, Belize, and we'll be back here with you on Monday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Reluctant yeah. <one. laughs> Godspeed. Have a nice weekend. So long. Hasta luego. Cuídense. <laughs>